try to demonstrate to these people is uh, what we call, and most people refer to, as the American system, what it actually is, how it works. Now, we we'll try to show them that it's a frame. When I say American system, by the way, I always mean two things. I mean the American economic system of free competitive enterprise and the American political system of uh, individual freedom guaranteed by law. Now, we try to show them that this actually is the framework around everybody's picture. I mean, your professional picture, your business picture, or your family's picture, and the future picture, and everything. And uh, we've just got to quit assuming that people understand this thing. And because they don't understand them, they don't inherit any knowledge of it in their bloodstream, we're about to lose it. And if we let it be uh, just erode away, or we let it be uh, destroyed, or we let it be even badly damaged, why, we're going to lose the thing. Now, we're going to have to deliberately teach people. We're going to show them tonight that you don't have to make a case for the American system, but you do have to uh, uh, clarify it. You do have to demonstrate it. I mean, the truth isn't self-evident. It won't will out. It's just going to have to have help. In this modern day and age, with everything being liberalized, do you feel that the people still retain a certain amount of patriotism, or do you think the patriotism of old is gone? No, uh, we find that when you state the facts, and that's all you have to do for the American system, though I, uh, once most people understand it, they've got a lot to appeal to. There's a great deal of it. And what we have to do is just to go out and restate the whole fundamental American philosophy and position. And that's why I like to talk to teachers about it, because it's got to be taught. Now, people just uh, assume that because uh, folks are born in America, that somehow or other they're just going to automatically understand the American system. And it's just assuming too much, of course, that caused the scientist to blow up his laboratory, you know, and we're, we can do that here. You ju we just got to quit assuming. We're going to have to do it on purpose. Now, how many of these tours are, or lectures are you on? Oh, I do uh, a great many. I've been doing this for 25 or 30 years, and I used to be in the school business, and, uh, but I, I, I would do, this week is a very heavy week, but uh, I do 175 of these a year, probably, to various kinds of groups, you understand. But what we try to get is leadership groups. Now, I found out a long time ago that uh, I used to think 20 years ago I could talk to everybody in the world. Well, I found out you can't do that. In fact, I'm losing ground. <laughs> and what we try to do, is, as we put it, is you can't talk to all the people, but you can talk through leadership groups and get them aware of this thing. So I talk to a great many national conventions, for example. Well, there you've got in one room or one banquet hall or one auditorium at one time, You've got the leadership of a whole segment of the society clear across the country, or maybe the leadership of a whole segment of the economy uh, clear across the country, one place, one time. Well, if you can get some of these fundamental concepts over to them, this is progress. And uh, we get enough evidence of success to keep us encouraged.